touch it. Okay, folks, uh, as promised, got a little bit of a later start, but uh, that's what happens when you chit-chat here. <laughs> We're over here at uh, House of Mitch, and uh, Mitch is here joining me, and we're going to do some live streaming here with some DBA 3.0 uh, material here. So hopefully you guys can join us. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them, um, and hopefully we can respond. I've done a couple of these um, videos before and either they were not on an interesting subject or nobody was interested uh -huh. and uh, I didn't get any questions so this is still only like the fourth video I've done uh, using uh, Streamlabs uh, app and uh, I'm not sure that it's working 100% but uh, it's working pretty good just uh, don't get any questions in there so anyways I'm here with Mitch and uh, one of the things that we wanted to go over with is... There you are. Is, uh, oh, you got it on yours? Finally. Okay. Can you see if... Uh, let's see if you can click it on here. And, uh, one of the oh. We to go oh, now we're hearing ourselves. Is... See if you can ask it's a question. Delayed. You got it on yours? Finally. Okay. Can you see if... Uh, it's delayed. Oh, now we're hearing ourselves. Okay, now get rid of it. Okay, so it is coming through. Okay. All right, now get out of there. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so it is able for you guys to ask questions on there if you aren't there on there. Yes, Mitch. Hi, you're you're right here. This this guy right here. Okay, so uh, Tony's, anyhow, Tony's on that side. On that's that right. Side. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, you should be able to tell from our jewel. Oh, that's right. From our jewelry. Yeah, he's wealthier. You can see. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all about the silver bling. <laughs> anyhow, um, the uh, so we're gonna do some uh, DBA 3.0 stuff. And um, hopefully you guys can uh, find something of value on here. So uh, what did you want to do, Mitch? You wanted to throw, throw down a battle and maybe talk about how we pick terrain? Maybe that's what we could do. Maybe that's how we could do it? Because we want to do a video about that. But, you know, the problem, why don't you go ahead and grab some terrain? You, uh, you got any, who you got in mind to fight? Oh, uh, whatever. You're, what do you want to do? Well, you said you want to do some weaklings, right? Yeah, we should do some weak armies. Okay. So it's not a... And this is what happens every week. We just kind of, hey, what do you want to do? I don't hey, know. What do you want to do? do? You know. Hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> you want to do some wimp war armies? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So the problem with it, the, hopefully this kind of uh, video is we do enjoy filming a lot. The problem is uh, when we're doing the standard video that goes on YouTube is you end up having um, to do the whole editing process, which is... To call it a chore would be um, would be putting it simply. It, it is just a nightmare. Uh, not really the editing, but once you get it edited, it's the uploading. Uh, I'm doing this all on a phone, so um, you know, make, getting the most use out of the phone there uh, possible. But it is all on a phone. Works well, but um, when it comes to uh, compressing the file so that it can be exported to YouTube. It's really a long process. Um, a one hour battle could end up taking uh, four to five hours during which time I can't get a phone call or, or use the phone for anything else. Otherwise, it will interrupt the whole process and will waste their time. So I know one video was an hour and a half video and it took an entire weekend, both days, five or six attempts trying to get it up. So, uh, hey Joe. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm glad you can, uh, you're able to, th thanks for chiming in there. Uh, so yeah, the one video that was over like an hour and a half, it ended up uh, taking uh, a whole weekend to try to get that up. So um, that was really, um, that was really a pain. So being able to do it live is, uh, can cut that out of the uh, equation. So, uh, and I think you guys can watch this afterwards. So if uh, you don't like the part here where I'm rambling, while Mitch is picking out some armies, <laughs> and we're over here, and look, I'm rambling while petting this purple object. Um, you guys can fast forward that stuff too. But um, we did want to go over how we set up the terrain and kind of the 
mentality between what terrain you pick and where you put it and those intricacies that, uh, you know, they, it took several hundred, several hundred games for us to kind of get the hang of it. And um, we just figured we could show, we could share that information with you guys. So, um, you want to see people against Egyptians? See people against Egyptians. Sure, let's do see people against Egyptians. See people. Okay, we even got the right size board. Yeah. You don't want you want to do it on a thirty? Well, let's just show everybody how we do it. Oh yeah. Okay. That's so true, we true. play on thirty inch boards and twenty four inch boards. I know some people in the UK are big fans of the twenty four inch board. And uh, you know what? Uh, let's see. Can I move this? We're going to have a frame issue here. Let's just play on twenty four. We should still show them. Still show them? Okay. And then you pick the two. Okay, all right. So basically what we do, we play on both. Uh, when we were doing the 2.2 and the 2.2 plus, the movement was to go to a 30-inch board. So we had 24s originally, and we have 30. So we have both. And uh, what we were doing before was doing tournaments where it was either they were all on 24s or they were all on 30s. And we decided to skip that. And decided to go to um, just letting the attacker pick. So um, that seems to work really well. Uh, I feel like the attacker, the defender has a lot of advantages already. They get to set up the terrain however they want. And they get to go first. So um, the attacker does get to decide where they come in at. But most, battles, most battlefields end up being pretty balanced. You don't have like a forest on one side. It usually ends up being pretty balanced. So that's kind of negated. A little bit um, uh, so what we decided is we just let the attacker decide if they're gonna play on 24 or 30 and that worked pretty well for us so um, who do you want to be who do I want to be uh, I don't know I'll let you I'll let me be the uh, new kingdoms I'll, aggression to I know no I don't know if I've ever played the, the sea people all right you be sea people I'll be new kingdom okay sea people are aggression three or four here I believe there are three, but you better look it up because they're not my army. I I am not required to know who the hell they are, uh -huh. or what their stats are. They're not my army. I think there are three though. What is it? One. They're book one thirty-eight, maybe something like that. That far up. Maybe. Hey, why don't I look here since I got a book right in front of me? So we'll go all the way to the back, which honestly um, we don't use this very much. We should. Oh, look at there. Uh, 128. And aggression well, 4. I got the 8 part. Well, I'm aggression 4, and you're aggression 2. Yep, -er. Okay. So, C P the C persons. I'm a 4. Okay, and I'm an, eight. I'm an 8. So, so you're going to pick the land. You want to be big on or small? I'm going to move the camera anyway, so. Um, no, you're attacking. Oh, yeah. I should listen to my own <laughs> advice. Hey, it's late. I've been, I've been awake since 5 a.m., and it's... 9 20 p.m. <laughs> but that's okay. I got my friendly neighborhood Starbucks here to keep me oh, away. Oh so, boy. Which explains why I'm probably talking a whole lot. So, so uh, you want to do the small board as the attacker? Is that it? Um, or you want to. Oh, how do you want to do Let's it? stay on the big one. I'm, okay. lazy. I'm lazy. So, okay. So there you uh, go. What I'm going to do is let's jack this thing up. Getting jacked live. See people. So you want the. Uh, Commander on a chariot, or do you want him uh, on a four blade? <laughs> Probably want the chariot, right? No, chariot, yeah. You need to be. <laughs> you never know when you might need to be somewhere. You never know. Okay. When you get let's, uh, let's move this other board to the side. we got a table here that has space for, for two boards to go side by yep. side. Let's, uh, well, you guys just have to deal with having a little bit of a distraction over here. Just a little one. Just a little one. Okay. And I don't know if you guys are going to see some of my legs or whatever. Don't get too excited, you weirdos. I covered up. It's uh, you covered up, cold huh? Out today, tonight. There's Florida. a lot of there's a lot of weird stuff on the internet, and this isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> come to the wrong spot. You come to the wrong spot to get excited. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay. So um, while you're setting the guys up. Yeah. I don't know why you're setting the guys up. It was just an <laughs> incomplete want, sentence there. You want the uh, auxiliary, right? Well, what are my options? <clears throat> you can have three Saloy or three Ox. Fast. Yeah, I don't need any, I didn't, I don't need any Saloy. Uh, you're just going to create a freaking... Uh, you got a lot of shooters, so... I didn't think you wanted that. Okay, oh, you, so... Oh, you think you know me. 
Aha! Some people who have been around, people with two bombs. <laughs> and you get the two four blades. Where are we at here? There should be one more fast blade. Ah, here's your camera. Oh, see, people got to have a C. Yep. Get to see Which two. one? Well, we'll just have to see. <laughs> oh, there he is. He was hiding. Why are you does, hiding? Does it give you 12? Does it give me the right 12? Yeah. Okay, so these are all supposedly fast blade? <clears throat> yep. And these are fast auxilia? Yep. And these are solid blade? Yep. And this guy is a... General on a chariot. That's a, that's a light chariot, chariot right? Light chariot, yeah. Okay. Uh, not that I don't trust you, but let's not have yes. a colossal Go mistake. Ahead. I will double, double check. I will double check. This is book a one, dog here, yeah. 28. <laughs> and they fight the new kingdom. <sighs> they fight the new kingdom B, B which is the one that has the war band, I believe. Three. Okay, yes. Yeah, so they have a... General in a two horse or in a two horse with two or three crew. I want a guy, I want a, uh, a chariot that has three crew. Uh huh. No, that's oh, what I got. Let me put that in order. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's just aesthetics. Oh no, they can have a heavy chariot. You see people get? Yeah. Whoa, do you want one? I don't know. Let me think about it. So they gotta have okay, they got they've got two solid blades. They've got six fast blades, okay? And then they've got three Sheklesh or Teresh. Jeez. And spit on people when Watch you're talking it. about that. Watch Javelin it. men. <laughs> okay. Which are the three uh, fast auxilia, or they could be three soloi. Uh, do I want a heavy chariot? Or the... No, you know me. I don't like You don't like heavy chariot? I, I don't like knights. No, you're I'm... just afraid of the... The blade I'm afraid of a lot of things. The no, I'm actually tower. afraid of them penetrating. <laughs> With him being all by yeah, himself. I'd, I'd rather my... Um, being all by himself out there. Yeah, I'd rather my army be a bunch of eunuchs. I don't, gonna, want, I don't want them to be penetrating. Here, I'm grabbing all these uh, older ones. I'm going to use some of these newer models. You got new, uh, new Egyptians? Models, yeah. Oh, that's the... I don't think I've seen those. That's um, an army that you got from none other than... Rod, Rod Felderman! Hey, Rod, you going to join us tonight? No? Uh, okay. Sleeping. <laughs> sleeping? He's on the Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, he's getting older now. He's probably going to rest his eyes. <laughs> Let's okay. see. Where are we at here? All right, well, I'll move my guys off to the side here. All right. I think we'll go back. Oh, I these see. guys, I think we've done, we've shot a video of these guys fighting each other. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, we have, but... It's always a great matchup. It is a good matchup. Is that the one where you had the crazy landing? That one. That was crazy. That was super crazy. Hopefully you guys get to see something crazy like that. All right. Um, three more band. Da, 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 da. Three more band and... Yeah, these are nice. One sword. Actually, I think I'll do that as the warband, and this is the fast blade. I get one fast blade. Okay, I think I got them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got them, folks. Okay, so you've got a uh, life chariot general, three other life chariots. Yep. And uh, hold on, let's get them, on, get them on the board here. Three life chariots, life chariot general. Who's this guy? Uh, the warband. The warband. Okay. All right, and that's a my favorite element, warband. <laughs> Best warband. We should talk about that tonight. Okay. After this, we'll talk about uh, what our favorite elements are and stuff. Stay tuned, folks. Aha. Uh -huh. um, the fast, fast blade. blade. Okay. Soy. Okay. Two solid bow. Okay. And uh, three solid blade. Three solid blade. Jeez, it looks like you got sixteen elements there. One, so, two, three, four, five. It's because we. We like to yeah. hide our numbers. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Littoral, so I gotta have water. Yeah, so you're littoral, so uh, the next process water. is once you find out who the defender is, the defender is gonna have to uh, 
pick their terrain types. So he is going to go uh, go fetch. Hey, go fish. Fish. Okay. We'll put it on the close side here. Okay. It's the first piece you're going to have to have to place place. So when you have a littoral army, you might as well just throw it down because you can place everything else based on this. Okay. Um, there's no point in the next process where you roll to see what quarter it goes in because it's irrelevant. There's not going to be any other terrain down there. So you just end up usually put, placing it somewhere. So. so I can either have difficult hills or marsh. Hey, let's get the new marsh pieces out. Uh, We're using all kinds of new stuff. New, 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 new. So. Who are those from? Oh, I got those at Historic Con. Oh, okay. Um. I should be no, I don't. Ah, oh, no, I shouldn't get too crazy. Your guys, I'm also Latoro. Right across. I'm also Latoro. Yeah, you're Latoro too. Yep. And uh, you'll run right across any back going. So I'd be kind of putting things more difficult for me. Yeah, and you. But can't... I will do one. I'll, I'll do. Okay. One marsh. And. Why don't you show the folks what you're looking at? Oh, no, 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 that. Oh. Yeah, you yeah, can show them the our... terrain, too. <laughs> you can show them the terrain, too. This is my train of goodies. Yeah. So I get... Uh, Man, those are sexy. Yeah. Uh, somebody... I know a guy in Gainesville. No, not that guy. <laughs> yeah. You know a guy in Gainesville. He's kind of an asshole, but he did make these for Yes, me. he made them. Mm-hmm. What a fine job he did. Yeah. He's good looking, too. <laughs> He's got a terrible personality, though. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. <laughs> so no what I'm saying is here is the here's the form. Let's see if I can get this somewhere where there's not uh not a lot of glitter. This is the form, it is available on the Facebook uh in the file section. I actually did not know that the file section for the DBA page, there's well there's there's two DBA Facebook groups. One of them is uh DBA and then there's DBA and Hot. Uh, it actually was DBA and Hot, and then somebody decided to make another DBA page, which is a pain because now I gotta I post something, I gotta post it on both pages. But regardless, I believe it's in both of the groups in the file section. Which, if you didn't know that Facebook had a file option, um, no big deal because I didn't know it either. Uh, but there's a, a place where there's for files, and there's actually two files for these. These were made by um, by Don Harding. Mm -hmm. And um, show them the other side. It, it, the other side's kind of plain. Yeah, very plain. Okay. It's it's basically two files, okay, and each one of them has one of these things on here. And you print them out, and these are on heavy cardstock, and um, but you can print them on uh, paper and uh, or wood or wood, and uh, <laughs> you know just glue them on there. But basically, what they are is they're a way to um, set up quickly. And on here it has the information. This is what he was looking at. So. Down here, it'll say um, it'll say uh, littoral, and you know what? Let's see if we can get in closer. You watch the screen and see if we can get in here. You know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we use your brain, Tony? Okay, there, we, there we go. Hey, we're still new at this. Hopefully, it's not upside down because it looks like it's upside down. But anyways, here it says uh, we'll find out later. Um, here it says uh, littoral. You compulsory, you got to put down a waterway, and that's it. You can't have any more compulsory terrain. And then you have a choice here, either difficult hills or marsh. So if you pick marsh, like you did, you can't uh -huh. have difficult hills, okay? And then you can have either woods or dunes. So if you pick dunes, you can't have woods, okay? Built-up area, road, and a river, okay? So his he's going to do the minimal amount of terrain, which is one compulsory and two optional. So he's doing the compulsory waterway. And then the optional ones, you went with a marsh and some dunes. Okay. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you don't need to roll to see where this gets placed. Okay? Because there's nothing else on the board. Now, what will happen is, is you pick your terrain types. You have to decide which one of the two oh, yeah. you, uh, you would have. And by the way, if this had been a situation where, um, let's say he had picked, let's say he wasn't Littoral and he had to pick like a, like you were, if you were a forest army, yeah. you, know, you have to pick uh, woods, woods as your mandatory. And then you were able to pick another couple terrains. You have to place the compulsory terrains first. first. You get to pick which order you get to do them in, yep. but 
you know, you get to place them first, okay? So uh, he did that, and now you'll get to, you're going to do the marsh first? And when you're on a smaller board, sometimes that becomes a big, mm -hmm. big item when yep. you go top to bottom. I usually place them like a stack, and then the top is going out first. And you basically start where he's at, and then you go clockwise. So that's quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, quarter five, he gets to pick where it goes. Quarter six, the the adversary gets to pick what quarter it goes. But regardless of what, even if I pick the uh, the quarter, you'll still get to place it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, right. so you have a marsh. A marsh. And the happy marsh is going in. There's a happy little Six, marsh. The attack going wherever I damn well please. Where do you want the marsh quarter to be in? <sighs> Let's All put right, it in quarter number four. Quarter number four. Well, we're going to go. In this quarter. We're going to go like that. Okay. There. I have no say in how it gets placed, other than what quarter it goes. Only in. the quarter. Okay. Hey, the dunes, but you can do <laughs> you can do the dune too. What quarter? I rolled two sixes. Wow. You can tell the dice are all excited about playing the night. They're I guess. I guess. Yeah. Pumped up. The pink, the purple dye is excited. He gets to play yeah. with the pink one. Oh, that could be the one. It could be a uh, girly color excitement. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Um, so let me think farther ahead, okay? Before I decide what quarter that goes in, the next stage is you're gonna, I'm going to get to pick where I come in on. Yep. And I can't stick baby in the corner. I can't nope. put you on the waterway. I can't be on the waterway. You can't be there. I could be there. Yep. Let's pick that quarter again. All right. I think we can fit it in there because we're on a big board. So we're good here. We're good there. And we're good there. So this must be a golf course. That's the only place where it could be a marsh that close to yeah. dudes. <laughs> the sand trap. Hey. Right next to a water hazard. Definitely almost Florida. <laughs> okay, so then I get to pick where I come in on. That's right. Okay. Because you are the aggressor. And I want to come in here. Okay. I want to wow. be this side. There he is. No matter where Whoop. you go. Here I am. There you are. Okay. So, we can put these nifty little things down here to show us where we can and cannot set up. And... Okay, and basically what it allows you is... Uh, and when you do these setup, this basically is the area that nobody can set up. Actually, your setup area is from these corners here, okay? And he has the same thing yep. from those corners. you got this strip here where you may deploy certain units, and those are Light Horse, Cavalry, Camelry, Auxilia, Saloy, and Mounted Infantry can deploy in this zone. And in this zone, no one can deploy in. Uh, one mistake that people frequently make when they set up or they use some kind of a card like this or they measure, because this is basically two base widths and then two base widths, they don't, you don't want to do this, okay? That's not where it starts. It's actually off the edge of the board, okay? Because if you did this and you made a really fat waterway, you're really encroaching on the area somebody could set up in, mm -hmm. okay? So if you make a fatter waterway, then guess what? The guy's going to be able to deploy closer to it because the distance is measured off the edge of the board, not the edge of the waterway for, de for deployment purposes. But um, so this is how, how it lays here. So um, we set those things up because it allows you to set up really, really fast and not waste your time. If you're doing a tournament or something like that, you don't want to um, consume a lot of the time doing that. Uh, most of the time in tournament games it gets, that gets eaten up is you grab your stuff and you move to another table and, oh, how's your wife been? How's all this <laughs> stuff? That's all fine and dandy, but if you're being timed, you, know, you, you want to save, save your time for that. But uh, Okay, so... Um, you, as the defender, will place your camp first. Yeah, place and the camp, camp is on the... It's got to be in good going on your base edge. Okay? And, and it's got to be in between these this area here. Because it is not a light horse, a cavalry, a camelry, an auxiliary, a saloy, or a mounted infantry. Obviously, it's a camp. 
it's none of those things. The only reason so, why I'm setting mine up a little bit is because uh, we got bigger board than we do tables. Yeah, you bought you you wanted to buy a cheap table, so <laughs> you, know, you wanted to save an inch on it or whatever. So yeah, we we typically do that. And I'll uh, well, and that's your camp. You don't want anything to happen to you. Yeah. But since this is not my camp, uh -huh. I'm actually going to have it overhang a little yeah. bit. I have it fall down. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. We don't roll that way. We're going to move it here okay Can and we I'll also learn. we also play that our camps are assumed to have camp followers in them yes even if the figures aren't present um that's how we are just play. busy <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah um so, so that's the that's the setup so now mitch is going to deploy his entire force and he can designate a landing, landing force, force if he so chooses da, da, da. which let's start with this these guys Scared, are you? Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps not. Hmm. It's very interesting. So the reason I set up the well, the reason I set up this this terrain here is I wanted the option that if I was going to do some kind of a landing force, I didn't have to fight through that terrain to get to it. Um, and the dunes is I'm not I'm really not good at through dunes. I mean they're both bad going, so I I just didn't want to fool with them. You know, I wanted them over off to that side. You know, if I did want to go in on my, I don't want to have to like move a landing force and they're out of command and go through that terrain. So, one or more options open. So, but I didn't think about it a whole lot. You know, it's not like uh, I spent like you know two days before figuring out how I'm going to do it. Part of my fun is just kind of winging it. <laughs> if you're doing that much effort and planning, it becomes work. And I, I think so. We will have a landing. You will have a landing force, okay. Ta-da! So the way the process is going to go is he's going to deploy his own, his his entire army and set up and, and and set up a landing force or designate up to three units. It's it's two and three, right? Yeah, two or three. It's two or three units yep. as a landing force, but they're not going to get placed yet. Then I'm going to set up. Then he's going to go, including landing the landing force. And then I'm going to go. Okay, so, um, anyhow. So, um, go ahead. You, I will, I'll, I'll, you I will go play. ahead and set up. And I'll talk about my thought on how I... You so, think people want to hear that? Well, you never know. Okay. <laughs> I am also going to set up. What's your landing force consist of? Uh, the Warband. Okay. The Fast Blade. Right. And the Sloy. Okay. One of each. One of each. Well, I've got so many darn... Fast blade. That all three of them are going to be fast blade. Ooh. Bum bum uh, bum. Ha. Well, so uh, I didn't want to go too much train because it plays into the sea people's hand because all their most of their troops, minus maybe three elements, are all bad going. Can handle bad going a lot better than I can. I only have basically three troops. That can handle, the opposite of him that can handle bad going. So um, I played with the least amount of terrain. Another thing, when if it wasn't for the Latoro, another thing I usually like to do is uh, place a road, and I always put that the last thing down, so I get to see all the tr the terrain layout, and then uh, always, place the road. always, always place a road down if you can. If you can. If you can. On here we could, but it really doesn't matter because um, it's it's not you, you to have a road run this way. You have to have a um, a BUA, and the chances are, hopefully, the BUA would be in one of these two sectors. It's fifty percent chance, so so it doesn't really pay out that way. All right, I think that's what we're going to go with. We got a fast auxiliary over here, two solid blades here, and um, three fast blades here, three fast blades landing, and the cavalry, the the light chariot general there. Aha! Uh -huh. You got what? A bow? Solid bow? Yep. Solid blade? Yep. Solid bow? Yep. Solid blade? Yep. Solid blade? Yep. The general? Yep. Okay. And, and three other chariots. And your wacky landing force yep. of, a, of a fast blade, a fast warband, and a soloy. Okay, there you have it.
Okay, at this okay. point, uh, we take these little bastards off. Yep. These are gone. And they're good to go. If you guys haven't downloaded these, please, um, they, this saves you a lot of time, and they're very helpful, and they're free of charge, thanks to uh, Don Hardy. Thanks, Don. He's okay. not fair. I doubt it. He won't know because he's <laughs> he's still in the 19th century, not yep. using Facebook. Yep. We'll get a letter from him next week. We'll read it to you. <laughs> That's right. All right, Pips. By Pigeon. It's a three. And what did you do wrong? Oh, these guys got to be placed right away. So I can't... This doesn't count. The three doesn't to, count. I have to place these first. Yes, before you even roll for Pips. Oh, my goodness. You, you have, have to, to place, place your landing, landing force. force. Okay? And the oh, reason yeah. for that is, is if you, if you place them after you rolled... You would place them differently if you rolled a six for pips than if you rolled a one. So it's a matter of press your luck, you know. You're going to press your luck or not. So. I'm going to press my luck. <laughs> okay, so they have to be in one group. Yep. And they have to be at least touching the waterway. Now I'm going to roll that dice. And then, yes, they can be. They're touching the waterway by just being yep. a corner like that. Okay. So now you roll. Now I roll. There's a five. Better than the three. <laughs> All right. So you already three. cheated this game. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Got me. Of course, I think we we haven't played for what since. Seems like a couple end of, months. End of September, I think. Yeah. The convention was our last time playing. All right, so. So placing them is not a, does not use up a pip. They can move from that position. I think I will. Go wheel half of it. So wheel half. And that'll leave me one and a half left. Les Parsons. I think Les, Les you're out in the UK, aren't you? Is Mitch cold? Yeah, <laughs> Mitch is always cold. Yeah, Freezing. He's, he's always cold, and he's from uh, Illinois. Yeah, when I, I was know, younger. I don't know how you survived up there. I well, you know, then. hopefully when you get older, you start getting cold, because I'm always hot. <clears throat> so. so that's one. It's uh, it's been a rainy. Uh, it's been an English day today. It's uh, it started off like uh, sixty eight degrees Fahrenheit, yeah. which is cool for this swamp place, and has gotten cooler as the day has progressed. So I think it's probably like uh, well, it's sundown is about sixty degrees, so it's dropping. So we don't get too many of those days in a year where it starts off. As warm as it ever is, and as the front moves through, it uh, it cools off. But I walk. I'll take any cold, any coldish day we can get my hands He's on. He's not afraid. I ain't afraid. I'm well insulated. There's two. And this will be three. This will be four. Mm-hmm. And this will be five. Okay. Okay, my bound, right? You're bound. Okay. Let's not make the same mistake. Oh. You got to place the landing force. <laughs> well, the interesting thing is, is you can, this is the part where this, this literal, littoral landing makes for a good game doesn't necessarily make for something realistic and what i'm saying is is these guys literally could land huh, literally uh -huh. yep mm. oh. <laughs> they could land within 40 millimeters of somebody just you just need to check re they could do something like this yep -er. you know it's um you know i i think it's i think the game is balanced but, uh, you know, realistic-wise, nah, it's not really realistic. <laughs> but uh, that's not necessarily where I'm going to land them. I, I got kind of a quandary. So, I, uh, you did a good job with those guys. It makes me not really want to put them over there. I would have put them over here, but you've 
then then you're going to jump yeah. on them, and you have another one of your forces between them and the rest of my forces. So yeah. that's a no no. Uh, I could do something like this. That's not so bad. Uh -huh. But I got to clean these guys up before your guys come down and stomp on me. Stomping. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit more conservative. <clears throat> oh, man. No entertainment. <laughs> not that kind of entertainment. <laughs> <clears throat> Another reason I put the uh, Saloy on the outside is because unless the door is closed on him, he'll just flee from the blade. So, there's a thought behind that. Thinking again, huh? Thinking. I think we're going to play some here. And hopefully we don't roll a one. Oh, I said it. He said it. He's going to do it. <laughs> okay, that's how we're going to be placed. So... Now I don't know what the backstory is here. This is in Egypt somewhere, sure. probably the Nile. Okay, you guys saw me deployed here. You guys landed, and then all of a sudden, it's like, ha ha! We were hiding in the reeds. Yeah. That's why they got these hats like this. They're like uh, they're like reeds with I no mean, visors to block the sun at all. Visors hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> now we're to one. Okay, <laughs> Pips, here comes the one. No, oh, three. He's gonna okay. make a game out of it. I am gonna make a game out of it. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to move these two guys. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I have to do it that way. These two guys forward, like this, making legal contact with you. Uh -huh. Okay. Then this guy for a separate pip. Oh. There's smoke coming out of his ears. Nah. <laughs> Hey, some of us have worked all day. Did you work today? Yeah, I did. I actually did. In the cold, didn't you? Yeah, no, every day is cold. <laughs> yeah, so you work in a freezer all day, and you're yeah. all, and you're somebody who's always cold. Always cold. And I work out. I work in it. I go in and out outside all the time, and I'm always hot. Everybody makes fun of my irony's a bitch. My German sweater because it's all heavy, and, but it's warm. <laughs> Oh, you've got one of those Bundeswehr sweaters. Yeah, with the padded elbows, padded shoulders. Yeah. The people really? at your work don't even know that's a German sweater. Um, they did ask a couple of them. Like, exactly. Hey, they don't know what they don't that? know what that flag is. <laughs> people are just ignorant. Okay. Um, okay, so that's going to be one. Okay. My second one is going to be this move here. Ooh. Yeah, one left. Planning ahead. Planning. Okay. And then my last trick will be this guy coming over here. Ooh. It's not Halloween anymore, dude. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so now what happens? He turns the face. Yep. And you roll the one, and I roll a six. Well, it could happen. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Okay. And uh, one thing we can't forget to do before we get farther along is, well, we can do this later. We've got to keep score. We'll do that later. Well, that's for him. That's for me, yeah, because you're too lazy to keep. For me, I score all the games. <laughs> hey, it's good to go back and look in 2005 right. and see what the score is. Of We've actually, I've actually asked you questions. Like, it's hey, cool. When did we do that? It's it's cool because sometimes you'll think, oh, let's see what the biggest defeat I've been defeated at, and, and you're like, I don't remember that. Or you, you think, yeah. oh, I really, I remember playing, a, you know, this type of a game, and you didn't. So that's cool. Right. All right, so, all right, so there's our combat. So you're a. I'm a five. five. Okay. I started and, one, but your past my front makes them a, or did I say one? I meant two down to one. Down to one. I couldn't do it on this side either because the way you were facing, I couldn't move past your front to get that. Otherwise, it'd be illegal contact. Uh -huh. So there you go. Okay. So so I'm a five year one. Five and you have a door one. closed. Oh look look look! Oh, oh. <laughs> one to one. Purple dice. Okay, Why? and I don't advance against. Nope, not against the line. Okay. And now he's Zod. He is threat. That's your threat. war band, right? He's, he's threatened by this guy. Yes, he's threatened. Okay, now while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, pips! Five keep, keep pips. Score here. Five pips. Well, well, well. You got those guys over there. And all I do for scoring is I'll write down like what army I had, which is uh, what? This is what? 1128? Sea people? Uh-huh. Okay. 
verses uh, 122b, New Kingdom Egyptian. It's against Mitch. Terrain, I lost, and then the game. And that's all I do. I keep, I just keep track of this for posterity. Put it on an Excel spreadsheet, and we're good to go. So there's one. This is going to be two. Oh, you called in the big guns. And this guy will move straight back. Except. He can move straight back. He's not going to be able to move beside him because you'll make a, you'll make no. an illegal contact. Only if you stop, right? You can go by him, can't you? I don't think so because you're touching him as you go by. Oh. I've actually never seen that happen before. Uh huh. Ha! Interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that happen because, well, we know where he is. There's 200 yeah. millimeters here. Yeah, if you went back, you're good until you, there. You can't even go corner to corner. Without making a contact, so if no, you had somebody throw no, in, no touching you, at all. You can't. Yeah, you, you can't. That's an illegal. You're making an illegal contact. Okay. Right. So. So do I just leave them? But, 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 but. They're just sitting there in the middle of the field. Hey, look, folks! Thousands of games played, and we still never seen that happen. Yeah. But it's a simple game. It's not a simple game. It's a deceptively simple game. I think I'll just leave him there. So, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Three, and... Hey, you need to kill that. Kill them. You got your sp spittoon thing. Spittoon! Ding. Spittoon! And... This guy moves one. People will send me you uh, grumpy cat memes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's not a thing anymore. Now it's that, uh, what is it, those two women screaming at the one cat. That's been like the, the rage this last week. Uh -huh. Arguing with the... With the cat. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and five. Calling everybody over there. Everybody's. Hey, boss, we got a problem. Heavy right. <laughs> okay. Is there any shootings? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Nobody's in range. Nobody's in range. Okay. This is a shooting range out here. Okay. Good guy's turn. Oh, boy. You know I was going to spin it that way. Ah. Uh, spin doctor. The pink dice is willing to fight. <laughs> spin doctor. <laughs> PhD. Well, let's take a look at uh, you got a you got a Zaki threat yeah. threat ah yeah 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 threat. that 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 yeah danger zone red zone you're just shy of the hit, of of hitting me so this guy could still make contact in the rear oh man I gotta I gotta do that. I'm setting myself up there because <laughs> you get gang raped, but, but this is just so too cool. Fun. Yeah, this is too cool. Okay, so because these guys aren't within the threat zone yet of, of this unit, that was going to allow this guy to move to the front. Even if this guy was a little bit forward, you would enter the threat zone of him first so you could still do whatever you wanted to. Yeah, but here they won't enter the threat. So here's another yeah. one. Yep. And here's a third one. Yep, yep. Okay, so that's yep, three yep. pips. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep, yep. This is a blade? Yes. Two left. Well, we're going to move these clowns. i got to move uh -oh. the speed of these guys, too. <laughs> Which all of a sudden, because you moved up to me, seemed like they moved pretty far. But it's, you know, because you moved your whole line up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And from the last pip will be him. And the question is, do we want, we're going to put him here? We're going to lock this guy down. How about I lock him down, but then allow myself not to be contacted in the flank? Do what? 
Yeah, give me a second. Uh -huh. We're going to mark where he is. Okay. And then we're going to move the back edge. Move him somewhere where he locks this guy down. But I don't want to make. I want to make sure that you can't just come in and contact me in the side. So that's actually a decent location for him. Okay. So I'm fine with him being there. He's got this guy under threat zone. So you can't do whatever your heart desires. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another disappointment. Hardy, hard, hard. Okay. There you have it. We got one combat. All right. I'm a, I'm a fast blade, so I'm a five. I'm down none. You're a three. Down to a two. Down to a one. Okay. You roll the one. Or... Oh, well, there no. he goes. Now you will go forward. Though. I will go forward. Okay. Boom. Okay. You're down two. Down two. Let's see if we can. Come on. Big numbers. Okay. A one would have been really bad. <laughs> a one would have been bad. Yeah. Let's see. How do we skin this? Da, da, da. I think. It would be nice. Let's just do some maintenance on uh, some stuff here, folks. It would be nice to... Okay. Can this guy get all the way out here? Cool. You probably can. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's not a problem. You're going to make it interesting. Yeah, you could bring that guy here, and then this guy here. You know, all kinds of stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I had to jump on those guys. Just sounded it sounded yummy. Fresh you know, meat. Technically, none of that is a group. It's not. None of it is a group. And I am. You are. But there are threat zones being exerted, so. Yeah. Yes, there are. Hmm. It's probably good that you threat zoned him. Oh down. yeah. Mm hmm Well, it's good that I rolled enough to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. I think the thing to do though. I'm gonna go ahead and spin everything over here. Hopefully, oh, boy. Make sure what you can do after I move. <laughs> yeah, I don't get too close. I might have exactly. I might have. Be, I might. Uh... Decide to have a taste for your backside. Uh huh. Well, not me. These guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys with the reed hats. Those guys. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead. Go one here. Yep, that's a winner. Come in here like this. Yeah, the move in 3.0 to the cavalry moving four was a was a nice nice change. That way, all your guys are still <laughs> tightened down there. And I'm going to have to move this guy enough to get out of the way of this. Or, really, no, I don't have to really, but. You actually can't move there. You could move here, or you can move here. But you can't oh, move that. yeah, that's what. Yeah, I was measuring it wrong. Yeah, yeah I want to go here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, which is really strange, okay? Because you can't go into. Wait, wait for this. Okay. You wanted to close the door on him, right? Well, yeah. Okay. You 
you can move like this. Okay? Right. But when I turn to face, I won't get the minus one from you. But it'll still have the door closed. You'll still crucify me for that. Oh, because when you turn. <laughs> Another thing we haven't seen. <clears throat> so you would actually have to move here. So that when he turned, you would have the door closed. Yeah. But you can't move there now because it's illegal contact. Yep. Yep, yep. One of the weirdisms in DBA. Yes. I wonder if... DBA is a weird game, but you know what? The game's over in an hour, so... No, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah, it's okay. We'll do that. It's not like you're doing something risky. So it's one, two, three. Mm -hmm. This guy is only going to move. To there. Okay. Because that should keep you from doing anything there. So the last pip, that's one, two, three, four. And this no will gun. make. No, I'm good. Yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> you never take my gum. I will go here, I think. You wouldn't like it. It's sugar free. Yeah, too boring. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go here. Uh -huh. All right, that's five. I think you're still out of range. Yep. Mm-hmm. Still okay. out of range. So in the turn to face phase, he's going to turn here. Yep. And this guy is going to turn here. Yep, yep, yep. And you've got this back guy locked down by yep. the Zock of this guy. Yep. And we're going to start with the three to three. Three to three there. Three to three. Of course not. So Nine to five, baby. Go to here. Okay. And he recoils He's back. Recoil to here. Oh, he doesn't have a full recoil, does he? One second. Check him with that. Nope. Go right up to it. Right up to it. And a three to two then. And I don't advance because... No, Blade did not mounted. advance against Mountain. Not okay. against Mountain. Here? Three to two. And it's a lock, which... It stays locked. Nothing happens. Right. Okay. All right. Whoa. I'm pretty happy right now. Uh-huh. Even if I rolled a one, I'd be pretty happy. Because <laughs> i got to jump on him. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't have to. I choose to. <laughs> No laughing. No. This is live. I can't have oh, it laughs right. out. Oh, no. Mitch laughs all the time. He's it's a happy guy. Too much enjoyment. Yep. Should be. If you're not enjoying playing these games, you need to find a different hobby. There you go. Because, you know, playing these games doesn't pay enough. Well, okay. So that's two one. Left. Two left. Let's go two. One left. Zero left. Okay. Shootings. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, let's start off the festivities here. I'm here. a four, you're a three. Lock. Lock. Nothing and happens. you're not solid. Nope, nothing happens. So we stay locked. We stay locked. Okay. Let's go here. I'm a three and so are you. Ooh, Ooh look you. at that. Okay. Uh -huh. You don't advance because you like chariots. And then here, I'm a three. And I'm a two. And you're a three down to a two. Yep. Oh, I'm dead. Chop, chop. Yep. Oh, Eight boy. to three. Bye bye. Whoops. And that's all she wrote. So the score now is 
three dead Egyptians to zero sea people. Zero sea people. Oh boy. The mer the merman are winning. A two now. A two. All both. Well, I gotta do that. That's one. Yeah, because I don't have a recoil. And let's see where we're at right there. You could close the door. And you're right at 40, right? Because you recalled yeah. from combat, so there's yep. should be right some at base 40. width there. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to go ahead and add numbers. Mm -hmm. That's a no risk move. I guess. How about the shooting? No shooting. Gotcha. Let's do Next. my three to your three down to two. <laughs> hey, there we Got go. Okay. We're on the board. Pop. Three to one. One dead merman. And my three to your four. Okay. Come on, bear. Ooh, it's a lot. Locked again. Wow. Holding her ground. Okay. Good job, boys. <laughs> Pips. Row one. Oh, oh, man. He's cutting loose now. Well, you know I've got to do that. Oh, yeah. I've got to do the envelopment. Oh, yeah. So he's in the thread zone of him and him. Yeah. So he just picks this guy to go to. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then he'll do the same He's thing. He's got to go there. Yep. You got four left. Got to do that. I have an advantage of one. Um, of course, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. You got four left? Four left. Um, kind of distance we got here. We're within two. Four pips. Way too many. <laughs> See if I can do something sneaky. Look Deviant. something up. Something devious. All I'm going to look up is moving into contact with the enemy. Right? Yeah. Let's find it. I'm actually going to look something up that I've never done before. Or never done it intentionally. Are you thinking about moving the solid blade first? Yes. And then they would hit slide over. Yes. And then you could use yes. individual pips yes. to do these other guys. Yes. But yeah. I want to make sure that I can slide up to a base width. You know, because I'm not lined up on you. I'm like this. Yeah, but you're spending this, the pips separate. So they would move up. These two could go together. For one. They and then slide and over. Slide. And then I have the other then ones I can move Then you got three pips that you individually Yeah, I could do that, right? I slide oh, yeah. over at least one. Because you're moving them first. I've never done I've never done that. Not only intentionally. Be, only because you got the pips to do it. Okay, so we're going to move these. This We're going to move the whole iron group up. Well, you won't be able to because they'll hit this. and that Really? Spot. That guy won't be able to. Did he? Wow. July! July! Oh. Okay. Boom. Now you slide over. Lucky. That's one pip. Lucky. Okay. And then we're going to move this guy here. Yep. And then this guy here. Yep. And he can come up on the side. Mom, I want to move over or here. Or he can go over there. Oh, easy there, Cletus. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if things go south here, we better we better use a help uh -oh. on this side. Now he needs help. Now they are going to go south. I just might. I just might. I've had worse. Lack, lack of uh, 
trust in what you've been going through. Oh, I don't believe in anything. <laughs> I'm a skeptical cynic. Okay. Well, I get um, a shot now. You do? Oh, I'm hosed. Okay, so... Technically, he's in my threat zone, but I can't shoot him. Right. So... You you can shoot him. So I can pick... You could double up on him, or you could uh, double up, double up on, on that guy, guy right? Yep. Yeah. That's, That's a two-to-two two shot. Two-to-two. Two. Nope. Nothing. Ha, he was ready for you. Oh. He's got that, uh, what's this guy got? He's got something. <laughs> oh, they got, um, they got a sweatband, man. These guys are working for the weekend. Oh, working for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the weekend. Yep. Okay. All right, lover boy. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, no my, effect there. That guy was ready. My fun was done. Okay. Uh, your, that was all the fun that was for you? Okay. We're going to go to this guy here. Okay? We'll leave that for last. Okay. Okay? I'm a five, and you're a four because of him. Yep. Hoop. We'll show you who's boss. Holy moly. We're going to show you who's boss. <laughs> Now who's the five to four? Or you want to do five to five? No, I'm gonna do five five. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, now you're in deep trouble. Okay, so he recalls this. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, now I am in deep trouble. Now it's a five to three. I'm a three here. Come on! Oh, no! you must die. Oh, can't. Did could didn't even couldn't have a crush him. Yep, couldn't do it. But I will so I'm a five, and you're a uh, six, six. So you are gonna push me back. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Could have given a Couldn't cheap do it. one. Do, you would have killed me if you weren't wearing warm clothes. Oh, that's it. I'm I'm, I'm moving too slowly. You're insulated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, I laugh too. Get my winter clothing. I mean, you can't hear me laughing over you. Oh yeah, that's it's right. It's your laughter of my sarcasm. Sometimes Tony laughs deep inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, as promised, we'll do that one last. Yes. Okay, general. I'm a four. Yep. You're a three. Yep. Down to a two. Yep. Four to two. Hoot! Oh, come on. Seven, Bingo two, us. Yeah. eight. Yeah! We're going to show you. And because you're mad, we will not follow. Well, I've lost every combat, right? No. Well, yeah. No. So I got this one coming to me, yeah, right? Yeah, probably. That's how things work, there right? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a three. Yep. Okay? Yep. yep. And you're also a three, but you're down to a two. Yep, yep. But you won't die on a tie. No. Because I'm not solid. But so that is a tiny little glimmer of hope. If you roll a six, it'll be all right. All let's warm good. this thing up. Let's just see what you do first. Yeah! Oh, oh you, you got a chance. chance. You got a chance. Roll low. Roll, roll, roll that one. Three bear. Come on. Purple. Fight. Ah, oh, I'm dead. I'm lost by one. You did? You did yep. lose by I one. Need a, I need a three or better. There <laughs> you go. Ta Mandatory handshake. Yes. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. Doesn't matter how bad bad you think you're doing in the beginning, you're gonna do worse in the end. <laughs> it's funny because the weak point of your army, right well, here. the weak point of my army is is no mounted, which yeah. really wasn't an issue. Yeah. The weak point of your army is the bowman, yeah. but that really didn't cause well, I, anything. I hit it him. was just a. I hit him. Okay. Behind lines. <laughs> so that was a four to one, right? Yep. Four to one. I'm sure you were on a winning streak. You've been on a winning streak oh, yeah. for a while. Yeah. Stop last that. Time, last time I remember. No, no more of that crap. <laughs> okay, so there you go, folks. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And um, now we don't have to put Tony through going through gray hairs and trying to video cut and all that. <laughs> uh, the editing part's easy because you just watch everything. And I, I don't do that much editing. It's the, you know, when, when you have a 30, when you have, an, say, an hour video, You've got to edit it by, you know, adding the name of these troops and when you introduce who they are and all that stuff, write down little graphics. That takes, at most, half hour. Plus, you got to watch the video to make sure, you know, you didn't say anything wrong or... <clears throat> I was going to say, if, in case you used F-bomb. Yeah. I usually leave those in because, you know, that's like... Uh, adds flavor. Yeah, it's, it adds flavor, you know, so... Um, but um, it takes another half hour. So now you got an hour and a half of watching it, which isn't a big deal because you can do other things while you're doing it. I, can, I usually paint or, or do something. I leave it propped up there while I'm editing it. 
But once that's done, you go, it's, it's called exporting it, which really should be called compressing to send it out in a, in a format that an hour and a half video would probably take, you know, four hours to do. And then I still have to upload it on YouTube, which isn't that bad, honestly. Um, but uh, it's that compression part that's really bad. So I enjoy doing the 30 minute videos and shorter. Of course, I could edit a lot, but then then you have all your editing time that you're doing it. Well, you can't do something else while you're doing that. But and I don't really want to cut it all up because uh, it's good to give people an idea at a DBA game how long things are taking. Not like, man, why are my games taking an hour and 20 minutes and Tony and Mitch's are done in 17 <laughs> if I'm editing everything out. So, um, but anyways, that's just the cost of, cost of playing. So, um, okay. So, um, you want to talk a little bit about uh, the... Uh, want to talk a little bit about uh, the uh, about the troops and stuff? Well, we could, yeah. Yeah, one thing we always talk about is, you know, the, the neat thing is that those of us that play... Yeah, we're going to talk about the two other people that play with us that aren't here. Yeah. Um, you guys, if you watch our videos, you probably know who they are. Um, but uh, we all have a different playing style. And uh, we all have different units that we prefer and different units that we hate. Not hate, but... Uh, we have the least amount of um, <laughs> confidence in their abilities in the battle that's coming up. So, um, what's the unit you like the most? I mean, obviously you don't want 12 of any unit. but No, but probably for a great combination, I like Fast Blade and Knights. You like Fast Blade and Knights? Yep. And you're, you're fine with nothing else other than that? Well, that's a good combination. I, I still like... To have, you know, one or two shooters. What I don't like is to have... We're not there yet. We're not talking oh, about... Okay. We're not talking about things we don't like. Okay. Well, all right. So... So you like knights and you like yeah. fast blade. Okay. Yeah. That's, so you like units that move three. And I do like speed. You you like speed? Yeah. Okay. Um, solid, what, solid units have their... As we found out, solid units have their... Their... Uh, usefulness and okay. their time um but speed kills okay so you like you like knights you like fast blade you like quick kills mm -hmm. you're a big fan of quick yep, kills i'm a big fan so of you would you'd rather have a unit that has uh one number less than somebody else or maybe even two yeah but for quick a quick kill yeah yeah i'll run a that doesn't explain why you run uh knights <laughs> and elephants <laughs> It's a Harbach thing. Harbachs oh. like to run knights into elephants. We And they win doing yeah. it. That's what makes no sense. The, the crazy thing what Tony's talking about is uh my pole when I first got my Polish army and you have your rash puts, right? It was probably my rash puts, yeah. yeah. And I took my knight general and ran him smack dab into an elephant. And I wasn't afraid. Even though the elephant would quick kill the knight. I went in there, and I killed his elephant. <laughs> and that's where the saying "stupid Polak" comes from. <laughs> doing stuff like that. No, but it pays off for you. you yeah, know? and and my son got away with the same thing. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys like to take risks. We do. We you you guys are risk Luke, risk. Luke will take far more risks than I will. I, I I have calculated risk, and I just like okay, there's a time, and it's now. <laughs> okay, so you like fast blade and and nice. What do you not? What are your least favorite units? Um, and don't steal my thunder. But, all right, so I'll say <laughs> solid ox. You don't like solid auxilia. Yeah, solid ox is probably the least. Again, it does have a purpose. It's great against war bands. It's great against um, mounted because it's solid and it recoils. They'll stuff bounce. Off. Yeah, they'll bounce stuff. So if you get a closed door, they'll do that. But I'm not a big fan of them. I okay. can't, I don't, if I had one or two in the army, it's okay, but I don't want half an army of solid ox. <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of armies that have a ton of solid ox. Well, no. nah, there are some. Yeah. There are some. You can get up the late Romans, the, yeah. the Roman Romans can have a lot of auxilia. Yeah. Um, who's those guys? Catalan Company? I think they could have four, six solid ox. Yeah. You should build those guys. <laughs> I'm an appreciation for the solid auxilia. Try and work. Lots of people don't like solid ox. Beat it into my mind. <laughs> Lots of people don't like solid ox. So, um, 
Okay, so I, I'm I, I'm a little different. I like to play um, not taking risks. So I'm a big fan of what I call Wall of Doom. I'll um, I want some mobility, but I basically if you're gonna you know obviously we play all kinds of different armies, and it's not like this is you know Mitch says that he likes uh, uh, knights and fast blade. It's not like all of Mitch's armies. Yeah, our knights no. and fast yeah. blade. Not well, first close. Of, yeah, <laughs> not even close. So we play all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But if you had your preference or stuff that you my get, my favorite fun armies are the what we call the Swiss Army. We have a little bit of all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Those are fun armies. Yeah. We we all enjoy playing yeah. those because there's yeah. always something for everybody. So. Yeah. Um, I prefer what I call Wall of Doom, which is, um, and, and of course we're talking like this. This is. Like in an open setting, or if you have any of your choice, or you know your, pref your preferred army. My preferred army would have three to four units of heavy foot, whether that's spear or blade. I'm fine with either one. Uh, probably four bowmen. I don't care if they're fast bowmen or they're you know slow bowmen or they're crossbowmen or you know obviously crossbow solid crossbowmen are better than. Uh, and solid longbowmen are better than regular solid bowmen, mm -hmm. you know, because they're the same. But whether they're fast or whatever, I want four shooters, uh, maybe even an artillery piece. I know, <laughs> I know, you don't like artillery, but you know, but it's not my least favorite. It's not your least favorite. No, <laughs> you started to appreciate a year ago. Might have been oh, the least favorite. Yeah, it was pretty close then. Yeah, well, you've raped me a couple times with artillery, so oh. you know, artillery is a fun element. But uh, you know. Uh, Four to five elements of the heavy foot, um, four, four a bow, three or four bow. I, I like setting up very even, so I'll, I'll have my heavy foot in the middle, or I'll alternate it with a bow, and that's kind of my line. And I've got um, mounted, and I don't care whether they're knights or cav. I like cav a lot more than you do. Yeah. Um, I, I hate knights because <laughs> uh, of the ties on blades. Which, you know, I'm usually tend to be the one that, that cuts them to pieces. Yeah. I'll, I'll face a whole group of knights with blades. I don't yeah. care, you know, as you get that tie on them. But um, I'm fine with cavalry or whatever because they're basically to plug holes. I don't use them often. I mean, they'll turn a flank or something. And that's basically the way, that, that's my, my preferred army. I, I play more defensively than you guys. I, I like to advance this group that's going to be showering you with things to make you roll ones to soften you up. And then we can go in and chop you to bits. In a perfect world, you know, and, I'll play battles and my 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 shooters don't do anything. So, and, well, the cool thing, especially what you've done, what in the last, what the th what three armies you've done, you you've done uh, the within the last year, have you done in three, last year three armies. I've done uh, I did the Burgundians, yeah, and um, I did the I did the Burgundians, I did the Spanish, I did the uh, French Ordnance. I upgraded the French Ordnance A to 3.0, um, working on the never-ending Russians right now. When, before Turks the, before that. Was it the Turks? It was the Turks before and that. And then just before that was your, um, the Bamboo Freight Train. The Nanchow. Would yeah. you call it Bamboo? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Bamboo Freaks. No, no bamboo, bamboo Freight, freight train. train, yes. Bamboo Freight Train. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think from the... Bamboo Freight Train is the... Um, is the fast pikeman that carried bamboo. But bamboo when he pikes. first built that army, uh, that was totally different style playing for you because you had to be a little more aggressive with that. Yeah, you got to be aggressive and go get yeah. people. And and then from that, you you went to the other ones which are can kind of go either way. And then when you got to the Burgundians, the Burgundians is a huge challenge. I, I've watched Tony play with those oh. in there. With it's the a, defense, it's it's amazing. It's an awesome army, but, yeah, but it's their, an awesome army. But you, the, you have lots of units that if you're facing the wrong guy, you have to play keep away with them. It's an it's an offensive army. Um, the biggest problem, yeah, yeah, no, they they can sh they can shoot a lot. Yeah, they can shoot a lot, which is good. But it's also you know if they're fighting a bunch of heavy foot that comes after them, they're like. Um, Mom, help yeah. me get away from here. You know, yeah. you end up running into that. Super calculated. Then. Um, units I hate. What do I hate? What unit do I dislike? 
What unit do I have the least amount of confidence? The solid in? warband. No, any kind of warband. All right, well, the solid warband. At least the fast well, that's warband. You. That's you. The fast warband, you can you can do. Stuff use them like. as flankers. Oh yeah. You can use them as flankers. Oh yeah. yeah. The no. solid warband is like. Uh, uh, I, I have uh, no confidence uh, in the ability of warband hitting somebody frontally and using their combat numbers against them. Why? Because they're low numbers, especially mounted. You're already at two, yeah. and it's very frequently that you get into a combat where you're overlapped on one side or the other. So that you have a main unit that's not a skirmisher that now drops to a one. <laughs> you know how easy it is to double a one? Oh yeah, real easy. So <laughs> I, I dislike I dislike warband, or I have the least. Uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean I don't enjoy playing games with warband as long as they're balanced games. Like for instance. When you got war bands against war bands, or those battles that we do against the Romans, the yeah. Gauls versus the Romans, yeah. or uh, early Germans versus the Romans, those are great battles. But bringing them to an open setting, oh <laughs> hell no, no, because there's just too many things that can. There's too many things that that can go. The other thing I dislike is I don't like impetuous units. Blades not so much, but I don't like impetuous units because impetuous units. I'm big on order, okay? Like, we all go in or none of us go in. And the fact that you go in and it's like... Like, we've had this situation before. You'll Knights will go in and they'll charge. And it, the first guy will go in. He does great. And then nobody else does well. <laughs> it's like that guy good, goes out and he gets picked on and he gets destroyed all by himself. So, uh, it's good when everybody does well or they don't all do well with impetuous units. Because otherwise they just get all out of whack. The other thing with impetuous units is you want to go, go in and attack somebody... On your bound, and you get hosed, <laughs> and that was on your bound when yeah. you got to pick all the attacks, and now it's your opponent opponent's turn. He gets to hose your mind. and he gets to <laughs> pick and choose which guys he's going to, you know, put off to his side and uh, and do a number on them. So um, that is, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of impetuous units. Elephants? Do you like elephants? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think they look cute. They're fun as hell to paint. Everybody wants to see them, but uh, they cost two pips, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm just not a two pip guy. Yeah, I don't mind it. Um, I... Actually, I don't mind Horde for two pips. See? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like Horde, do you? I'm not a big fan. Well, the Hordes have their usefulness. Sure. You know? And they are, they, you know, again, it's that matching up with stuff. And, uh,. Hordes are, are really nice to slow down uh, solid units. You know, like Pike or something. You know, even though it's a three to six. I like, the, I like that they, 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 they don't count. Recoil. I like that they don't count. And that's yeah. not to throw them away or use them in kamikaze attacks. Yeah. But um, it but just you it gives you an extra. You get rid of them as long as it's against other foot. And that's huge. And they're not going to recoil yep. in combat unless yep. they lose. If yep. they lose, they lose. <laughs> So yeah, we all have our different playing styles. You kind of change yours. I'm, I tend to be defensive. But I don't mean defensive like I'm sitting in a corner. Because there's always in a battlefield somewhere where you can attack. Unless I have, unless you have a completely barren battlefield, I have all knights and you have all soloi. Okay, I can see where you would be defensive. But there's always somewhere you want to grab a piece of terrain, that kind of thing. Um, one of the worst things you can do starting off is... Um, set up a battlefield with no terrain features because you don't learn oh, anything. Yeah. You want if you have a terrain feature that's near the center of the board and you have to you have to deal with that, it's gonna make you a better player just learning how to play that. Now, I understand it may not be realistic because most battlefields that did have terrain historically, either it wasn't present on the battlefield or it was on the periphery and it really didn't take a part in the battle um, for the most part. So you're not going to see a battlefield where it's like, oh, it's Romans and Carthaginians, and there's a big woods in between both forces. That usually didn't happen. Um, when there was a set piece battle, uh, you know, they kind of avoided those type of terrains. But in DBA, having terrain that you have to move through or anchor guys and move around definitely will make you a better player. It'll make it a more fun game too. Um, I uh, like it depends on your army composition, though. Correct. <clears throat> As you've seen on this one, he had a, he only had three units that didn't didn't like terrain. As I had 
only three units that like terrain. <laughs> so I went as light as I could. And uh, and I made it even easier for you. Put them over there so you yeah, didn't have to go through yeah. them. And it still didn't help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, but anyhow, yeah, we really enjoy this game. Um, what's the thing you like the most about DBA? Uh, if you're having a bad game, it's going to be done soon, and you can do another one. No, wait, that's what I, that's what I like about it. <laughs> that's what we both like about it, then. Uh, I think the pips. The pips is the... Well, okay, let me back up. The, the best thing about the game is, is that you finish every game. Yeah. Every game's finished. Um, none of this, well, if we would have played another four hours... <laughs> Then I would have turned it around. Uh, nope, can't talk about that, dude. That's 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 not an issue. It's um, every game is finished. Um, but barring that, uh, the, I think the pip mechanism is very nice. The pip mechanism is great because you don't have this whole. All right, you set up your guys while I go have a uh, an adult beverage or or leave the room or that kind of thing. It just cuts all the crap and um, not being able to have. To do whatever the heck you want yeah. all the time is 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 a nice mechanism. Well, especially when you get three or less, and you got your units broke up. Now all of a sudden, you got to you have to see what what's the most important thing I need to do, or two things, maybe three. Yeah, you get to uh, decide what. Pick your poison. Yeah. Yep. And uh, we all enjoy that. Well, yeah. I know some people that you know. There's all kinds of different gamers. I know gamers that won't play games because they have dice. They're afraid of dice. <laughs> I, I actually don't like. I don't like. Car I like cards. I just don't like cards to resolve combat with them. Yeah. I, I like cards for activation. Uh, I like the command colors games. Those. That, but that's like DV. You're, you've got a. You got a pip mechanism, as well as you can't do whatever you want. But I don't like cards to resolve uh, combat. I just figure that. I don't care how bal. I mean, unless you have a cheating dice. I don't care how unbalanced people think that the dice is. You're going to get a much better randomization than somebody shuffling a deck of cards and you get one. I mean, yeah. I mean, unless you're playing 52 card pickup or something like that. Huh. Maybe throw all the cards into one of those <laughs> uh, one of those things they use for bingo, Reach in and then pull one out. out. Yeah, hey. pull one out. Yeah, you had a, so queen of hearts. Exactly. So, um, so yeah, I, I definitely like dice. I like dice games, and I like that. Um, any, every time you roll a die in an attack, I've got to roll one in, in support. So both people are involved. Yeah. And it is... Uh, uh, it's not one... You're not just waiting for somebody to do all their stuff. And they're like, yeah. oh, I get to do mine. Okay, well, not to focus on the negative, but what do you dislike the most about DBA 3.0? Oh. Other than everyone, not everybody's playing it. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's too bad there's not... Uh, more consensus that people like this rules. Um, it is oh, maybe the, <laughs> and that's one of the purpose of these videos is to show people yeah. this game's a lot of fun, but it's a really hard shell to try to break through. That's that's it's the, really brilliant, but it's just not explain. It's not. It's hard to find it. All it's hard to find quick. it. Nothing's ever explained more than yeah. once. It's not how I would have written rules. I mean, I don't have a problem with the rules per se. I have a problem with the presentation. Um, I would have done it with bullet points and that kind of thing. But um, hey, it is what it is. I mean, they're they're really brilliant. On, but go yeah. back to what you don't like. Yeah, you know, it, it's probably that if we do have a question that we can't find it quick, you know that. No, but like within the game, what is it? What uh, one then? name? One thing you don't like, or the thing you don't like. Um, I know immediately what the thing I don't like is the most. Should I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And this is something that, if I was ever going to write my own set of rules, which I'm not going to, but if I was, <laughs> and this is a problem that a lot of these rules have at this scale, and I, I know why, but I don't like it. Except impetus, maybe? Impetus doesn't, which makes me really want to try it, but if you have a unit here, and you have another unit here, well, let's make it a little even more interesting. You got two units here. And you got another unit here. Most of the confusion in the in the rules involves conforming. That's most of the of the stuff. 
Well, you can contact here, but you can't contact like that. And you can contact like this. You saw it in the earlier battle where you couldn't contact. You had to contact like this, and then you turned to face, and then you wouldn't get the minus one. But you couldn't contact this way yet because of the whole. That happened in that one battle where we had the one guy. Yeah. Where we had the one guy that was um, where you were trying to. I guess a third of the way in where you were trying to jump on my, my yeah. forces there. Yep. And it's all because the game doesn't allow you to have combat like this. And if I was going to write my set of rules, not that I'm going to, but if I did, the very first thing it would have is you could have combat like this. Why not? Right. They're all touching. You know? And I know why it isn't. It's because since there's no counters for, for how much damage they take, there's they're the only damaging they can take is a recoil. It's a... Uh, well, it's no, it's no effect or no visible effect from your vantage point as the army commander. Mm -hmm. A recoil or a death. Or a flee. That, flee. Or a flee. That, that's, that's all you have. So I think because of that, they needed to eliminate the options. But that's the first thing I would correct. I, I, I detest that. Um, because as fun as this game is, and I'm, I'm almost to 2,000 games of this, which... Um, of, of, of all versions of DBA. I love it. But as good a game as this is, and it is a good game, it doesn't feel like I'm playing what I'm playing. You know what I'm saying, Mitch? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, we're right. playing this game, and I don't know what it feels like. It's a game. I don't feel like I'm moving around Egyptian, guys. I, occasionally, I'll do something like, there'll be a situation like maybe you got the chariots on the end, mm -hmm. and they'll, they will do a swing like, oh, yeah, you feel like a cavalry commander moving those guys up. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, you're just playing some kind of game. Mm -hmm. And it's a fun game, and it's some chess-ish, chess and I'm going to use that mildly because I hate chess. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I wasn't born programmed to be a chess player. But... Um, it just doesn't feel like you're playing with these units. It does make... It is a fun game. It is challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some good camaraderie. Lots of people play it all over the world. Yep. It does motivate me to read about the history and to paint these guys. And there's not a whole lot of guys to paint. But when I'm playing them, I don't feel like I'm playing sea people or, or Egyptians. or It just... It, it's a game. And I, and I wish it had that. And part of the reason is because you can't just... Oh, there's combat there. Now, I understand zo zone of control or threat zones. That's got to be in there because that takes the control that you would have as the army commander. Like, ah, I don't listen. To that. That's, those guys are nothing to worry about. <laughs> well, this is this is hundreds of guys here. Even it's only four, six figures. This is this is hundreds of guys that are here worried about their their own life, supposedly. So they're not going to listen to the army commander about not worrying about stuff. They're they're affected by threat zones and those kind of things. But um, but if you had something like, uh, you know, you have a situation like you, know, you got a line here and these guys come in and, and do something like this, um, there shouldn't be any conforming. They should have just fight and, you know, they're on a flank and maybe they're a minus one. And you, I don't know. It just that's the part that seems very it, it doesn't it feels very abstracted and it's hard to. Um, and, and I think that's. Without putting a, a big Q and A out there um, or a poll, I think that's something that a lot of people have a problem with, is because it just doesn't feel like you're playing a real battle. Now, some people are like, "Oh, there's not enough figures on the table." Well, no, I, I'm fine with the with the amount of figures on the exactly, table. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, I wish it had more of that because that's what it doesn't feel like. You're playing the kind of battle that you're playing. It's just it's just a game. It'd be like um, I don't know playing Warhammer and then feeling like well this doesn't feel like the battle can I? I don't know. What do you think? Probably that fair uh, that probably, fair assessment. Oh yeah. If anything, if the uh, to make it maybe more realistic. Too bad that I know you only get twelve units and all that. But even you and me, we played around with doing scenarios and that, and where we we could flex the armies. Too bad they, they, you weren't able to have more historical games set up like that where they had an uh, army list and you're not yeah. just 12 and 12. It might be yeah, we've, 14 we've, and 9. You know, it might you might have that kind of flavor. And then, you know. 
we got a set of four scenarios that we ran a couple of years ago, and um, we're not going to spoil the fun of what they are, but um, there are two battles people have heard of, and two that they haven't. Hmm. Anyways, it's uh, we called it the Roman Art of War, and it was um, it was a set of four battles that uh, people would split in it in the two sides, and these have been done before at conventions, that kind of thing, before where they do that, and um, it's basically. Uh, each side would play Romans in two of the battles because they're all Roman versus somebody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, you would play uh, Romans in two of them and the other ones you would play the non-Roman players and you just go in sequence and play the battles. And um, and two of the battles, battles are really even and two of the battles, one of them favors the Romans and one of them favors the non-Romans. And um, in that, what we captured is we wanted to make sure that the unit that had the least amount of forces had 12 elements. And then if somebody had more, you go look at the historical battles and like, you know, you can you can kind of do proportion like, okay, the Romans have less guys. So the Romans would have the 12 elements. So, you know, if they're facing Macedonians or whatever, the Macedonians had more in that battle, there would be like two or three stands more. So you end up having battles where it's 12 elements versus 14 or or uh, or 15 and it kind of adds up little flavor in it and uh we did those at a convention and uh we had a poor turnout i think because of um probably the session it was held in and also dba was kind of doing going through 3.0 was was new at that point and we kind of did it to kind of show people um uh the new rules the new rules and you know how they can because uh, things are already set up you wouldn't have to do the whole setup and everything and uh you know with custom terrain for the battles and um, we are going to uh, do those again at a future convention, and uh, maybe even a historicon. So um, <laughs> they are a lot of fun. Uh, all four battles are very different, and um, two people have heard of two of the battles, or most people have heard of two of them. So should I tell them what the battles are? Nah, I'm not no, gonna tell, wait, I'm not going to tell them what the battles wait, are. Wait, 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 I'm not going to tell them what the battles are. So. Uh, we are going to do, um, and we'll probably do videos on them. Um, I just did it with felt terrain. Uh, we may do the 3D terrain, um, but um, they're fun. They're a lot of fun to play uh, a battle that is set up. Um, and the two Davids used to do this as well. They would put these battles together where you don't have the standard starting positions. You would, you, you know, you might have, as I like to call. They're screwed up deployments. So you've got to win, and you've got to win from a deployment that's not how you probably would have deployed. So, you know, you start rolling pips, you're like, okay, do I go after them and win? Or do I try to fix this for us and get all my guys together to win? It's kind of a neat puzzle to get under, but uh, mm -hmm. we uh, we, enjoy, we enjoyed uh, doing those uh, those four battles. So um, so that is coming up. We, uh, we, may, we may do that at Recon. We may do that at... Um, I don't know. We got the winter break. Winter break kind of started, but you know, <laughs> we we tend to do play different things between um, September and April. Uh, unfortunately, uh, well, at least in my case, work is just out of control. So uh, I haven't been able to come here in for a month. Yeah. Well, I I've had things going on too. <laughs> didn't keep me didn't keep me from painting, but uh, you know, uh, the gaming's a little bit slower. So hopefully, we're doing some uh, different stuff and. Uh, we uh, probably going to get back into Gaslands. I know uh, we probably don't do any Gasland videos. Not anytime soon. There's lots of Gasland stuff out there. But uh, we'll do some of that stuff. So, we, yeah, we do play different type of games. It's just most of what you guys have seen is good old DBA 3.0. So um, there's not a whole lot of information out there for it. And uh, we're just trying to keep people from getting discouraged from looking at this and going, whoa, this doesn't make any sense. Or this writing style is really an uphill battle. So, Because um, we do enjoy it. We do enjoy it. We do enjoy it. And the first hurdle we had to get over is kind of forget how to play old versions of DBA and just play this one. And, um, you know, there are diagrams in here. And unfortunately... The diagrams don't address some of the weirder issues. Or they, there's diagrams to address things like, yeah, yeah, I know that. That's that's obvious. Why do you need a diagram for that? I mean, and then weird stuff. Uh, today, we came across two things we'd never seen before. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Both yep. of them. And we've played, yeah. well, we've played over 700 games yeah. with each other. Exactly. You know, so. Um, like, but, I think when, the, when we first changed over, I know Tony's biggest problem was going past the Saloy. You think I'm over that? He's over it, finally. I'm but over I'll that? tell you what, I think the first 20 to 30 games, he would, he would always, like, hit. And then he would think that it's a minus. I'm like, nope, you got to go past him. <laughs> hey, it happens. What do you forget? Uh, let's see. What was the hardest thing when we... Who can land? What unit types yeah, can yeah, land? You yeah. think you got that down now? Yeah, I got that down. I would say, yeah, littoral landings. <laughs> yeah, the littoral landings, what units can land on them. Yeah. Yep. No artillery generals, right? No artillery generals. Even Make, though there are none. Remember that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we each have our things, and um, that's... Um, that's... Um, it's just one of those things. The more you play, and... Hopefully you catch stuff. Yeah. You know, so. But anyhow, this was, uh, hopefully you guys found this useful. A little bit of uh, uh, back and forth or commentary on uh, what we like about the game. And um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. This is a format we could probably do, put a lot more videos out since I'm not being tortured uh, by uh, com putting videos. Yeah. I am going to put more videos out, but uh, hopefully they'll be shorter. Um putting out a, a video that's like almost an hour long you know some people don't watch them and it's just it's a it's a pain to to um to do the compressing on them but these shorter ones certainly live ones because once this is over with it like magically like gets uploaded and everything and um hopefully this didn't this one didn't have any too much cussing in it yeah i know uh, that's, that's yeah that's not a problem well, that's what for, we forgot we gotta to make do. up for it right now that's beep, what we <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly so uh <laughs> luckily we got our automatic beep here in the yes. man cave here <laughs> yeah but um yeah so this is uh this is hopefully we'll do some format and um if you uh want to help us out uh you can go on youtube you guys aren't aware of i have my channel on youtube it's under my name tony aguilar just look me up and uh, there's lots of videos on there uh, please subscribe. Uh, some people say like and subscribe. I don't care if you like it. Just subscribe. We need to get up to the <laughs> magic number of a thousand. Once thousand. you get a thousand subscribers, one thousand. then we can go live on YouTube and be it. Yes, one thousand <laughs> subscribers. One thousand subscribers. Yes. Uh, and subscribing doesn't mean that you're going to pay me a dime. I'm not in it for the money. Um, that's That's not what subscribing is. Subscribing means that Anytime I put out a video, you get notified of what it is. And uh, YouTube requires a thousand subscribers before I can do this live on YouTube. So um, definitely want to get to that uh, as soon as possible so we can have a bigger footprint of uh, showing people what we enjoy in the wargaming thing. So we, uh, we can even do a short video next week when you got... Well, just in a few days, right? You're, yeah. you're trying to put together some uh, a Napoleonic game, yep. right? Yep. Of some famous battle that people may have heard well, of. Hopefully. I'm hopefully. still working on it. Still working on it. Are we going to do some Napoleonic battle, even if it's not that one? Uh, it, well, we're going to see. <laughs> I think we should just announce it and make you look like you don't know what the hell you're doing. No, you know no, I mean? no. Not You've bad. got one job to do. Yeah, I got one job, but I, I might not be able to do it on Monday now. Okay. So, I don't want to, like, say, yeah, I'll be here Monday. Nope, I won't be here. So, Mitch has a lot of Napoleonics. So, a lot. Um, which is not really my period, but I've played a couple times, and I've had a blast. Yep. You know? So, um, and I don't have to paint any troops, because you already have them all. Yep. You've got, like, all the armies, right? Yeah, I get... Uh, you have Swedes? Yes, I have Swedes. Yeah, you have it all. If you have Swedes, you, have, you've got it all. If, uh, if any of you guys are familiar with Napoleon's Battles, I can do about 95% of Leipzig. Lid? So, the lid? Yeah, the lid. Oh, the lid. People are going to say, what is that? What is it? Well, you know, it's a modern rule set for me, but it came out, what, 95? It's, uh, I enjoyed it. Maybe 1990? <clears throat> Napoleon's Battles by when Avalon Hill. I, when I first started gaming, I was gaming an empire. When you're young, numbers are cool. When you get older... I really you... hope the video isn't upside down. Because <laughs> right now it looks like uh, Russian. 
Anyways, this is Napoleon's Battles. Yeah. We're filming with the uh, front-facing camera, so we can see any comments on there. Um, I'll watch this later, and if everything's backwards, then we won't do that again. Uh, <laughs> because you guys need to be able to see things not back assward. So yep. hopefully there that's uh, not the case. So, yeah, Napoleon's Battles by Avalon Hill. I used to have this set of rules, and I sold my copy because I didn't do anything with it. But it is... Um, Miniature rules from Avalon Hill. Yeah, you can do big Napoleonic games and uh, come to a conclusion. Yeah, That's I had a lot of fun. It has opposing roles too, right? Yes. You're big rolling plus. off against each other yep. for combat. Shooting. Big plus, because then you can like mock other people. Yes. <clears throat> Luke. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, am I going to face off against Luke? Or you should give him the chance to let me team up with him. Well, it just depends. Do you want to be people from across the pond or do you want to be people from across the pond? <laughs> no, I don't know who I'm going to be. One speaks English and one doesn't. <laughs> should make should make them play Austrians with me. Uh, there won't be Austrians. There at won't all. be Austrians. At oh. Waterloo. Not at Waterloo. <laughs> oh, so that's the battle we're doing. That's, that you spilled the beans well, on. Well, that's the battle we're going to do. Okay. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> well, the cool, you know, the cool thing about Waterloo. I mean, I know how it ended up, but I really don't know how the troops maneuvered and stuff from where. So it'll be kind of new to me. Yeah, and I'm not going to read up on it. Yeah, so. We'll surprise you. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Well, that's it, folks. And uh, hopefully we, wouldn't, uh, we can do a video session uh, on Monday of something. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully you guys will watch this. Don't it's, hold it's your breath. Un it's unedited. Don't hold um, your breath. <laughs> I don't think we can film. Normally what we do is we have this. Let's go uh, Let's go in our helicopter view here. Let's hopefully we do not drop this. Okay. So we've got uh, we've got another table here and what we usually do is we have two tables going on at the same time so um hopefully i don't think we can get both videos both tables at the same time that might be a little too much uh especially with the noise and stuff like that you know and cussing between uh, my sarcasm <laughs> mitch's laughing and luke's drinking um it might be a little bit too much commotion uh, yeah and scott yeah scott's just a calm one so yeah he's a calm one yeah he'd be okay yeah but um, I don't know if we can do all of that going on. But if we do a Napoleonic one, we can certainly yeah, okay. set it up at the edge of the table yeah, and uh, have people watch in. Boom, that's not hard at all. So um, just so, try and do some other game things here so uh, people can be uh, inspired. There's something there for everybody. That's right. So Inspired to get new kids. Yeah, so you can see, man, I wish our gaming group had as much fun as those four guys. <laughs> What's our problem? <laughs> Well, Sometimes problem is, five. Problem is, is you're trying to win too much. Uh -huh. well, we try to win. It's just not. It's just not yeah. important. Having no fun. Having fun is number one. Some so. of us are hairdressers. <laughs> okay. All right. Until next time, folks. That's it. Mitch and Tony are out. We'll see you in a couple days. Bye bye.